Good evening, everybody. Welcome into our San Francisco studios for this Sports Report update. I'm Chris Francis. Stanford Cardinal right the ship. They get a little closer to 500 as they beat Denver. Highlights from that game in just a moment. First, we want to tell you about the winner of the Bowerman Award. That's presented to the nation's top collegiate track and field athlete. Middle distance star Raven Rogers of Oregon took home the award tonight. She won the 800-meter title this season, her third straight, and also anchored the record-setting 400-meter relay team. Her family was on hand. Rogers very emotional as she accepted the award. She's the third OU woman in the last four years to win the Bowerman Award. Congrats to Raven Rogers. Now, let's talk hoops. On the Pac-12 Network, a fantastic ball game between South Dakota State and Colorado. We'll go straight to the second half. Tad Boyle coaching his guys up. Name on right, hits the three. That's a good coaching move. Colorado up three. Under a minute to go in regulation, though. Back came the Jackrabbits. David Jenkins ties the game at 84 with a three-pointer. Colorado has one shot to win in regulation. It's McKinley Wright, who had a phenomenal ball game. Looked like a foul on the arm, but actually somebody got the ball. Tad Boyle tried to plead his case. We went to overtime. In the first overtime, Jack Rabbits built a six-point lead. Mike Dom drives and scores, but back came Colorado. How about DeLeon Brown? That tied it again. And at the other end, the Jack Rabbits had a shot to win it. At the end of the first overtime, can't get it to go, so double overtime, and that is where the Buffs took control. Tyler Bay, eight of his 12 points in the second overtime. A great win for Tad Boyle's guys. 112-103, they take it. All right, how about Stanford? I mentioned them beating Denver. Here's how they did it. Jared Haas and company hosting the uh, Pioneers, and they had to study for finals for 12 days. Hadn't played in 12 days. Reed Travis, he was working on his game somewhere. He had 20 points. And then later in the half, Michael Humphrey must have been studying his three-point shooting. He knocks one down. Three for three in the first half for the big guy Humphrey. Hits one from the corner. Stanford was up 21-7. to Looked like they might run away with it. They actually hit nine threes in the first half. Isaac White hitting. Stanford up 14. Isaac White had 17 in the game. We move along to the second half. And every time the Pioneers tried to make a run, Dejon Davis was there. He sticks a three-pointer. And then the icing on the cake late in the ball game. Davis gets the loose ball. Takes it down the lane, a little finger roll, also got the foul, made the free throw, 20 points for Davis, the final 75-62. Cardinal improved to five and six on the year. Three games Saturday on the Pac-12 Network. So we start with the pregame show at 12.30, then it's the Bears versus Cal State Fullerton, then it's IUPUI at Washington State and St. Louis at the Beavers. Final score after that, that'll get you caught up if you happen to miss anything. Women's basketball now, big matchup at the Galen Center. Kristen Simon and the Trojans hosting Kennedy Carter and number 19, Texas A&M. Trojans undefeated as they come into this game in the first quarter. Simon gets it inside, she converts the and one. USC led it very early in this one. I mean, this, this was a ball game, back and forth. Later in the first, uh, Carter splits the defenders and gets the layup. A&M led 19-16. Second quarter now tied at 21. Carter steals it. A little small run for A&M here as she gets the bucket. And A&M led it 24-21. Second half now, Sadie Edwards feeds Aliyah Mazik for the and one layup, USC by five. This was a game of runs, part of an 11-2 run for USC. But in the fourth, it was back and forth, literally. Ball stolen back and forth. Finally, Carter scores. So now A&M is up by five. But a few possessions later, USC comes right back. Minion Moore, she scores. So we go to late in this ball game, and we're under a couple of minutes to go here. Sadie Edwards hit the three-pointer with 20 seconds to go. So USC's got the lead. Carter comes right back at the other end. She's one of the best players in the nation. Should be double teaming her here, but it doesn't really matter. She goes baseline and scores to give Texas A&M a 75-74 lead. She took the contact, got the bucket at the other end with just seconds to go. USC has two shots to win the ball game, one from the corner and then one on the rebound, but they can't get it to go. And A&M hands USC their first loss of the year. Boy, Carter was amazing, 75-74. That's all for this Sports Report update. I'm Chris Francis. There's football Saturday as well. Oregon and Boise State. Have a great weekend, everybody.